Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hi, with Shono here, about to give you another Mortal Kombat mobile video. In this video, we're going to be opening up 10 of the silver packs for 30,000 coins. The reason I'm doing this is that I want to be able to get my silvers a little bit easier to progress through future hard difficulties, and if there's a reason that I can't complete a challenge, but I can use silver cards. So with that said, we're going to be opening up 10 of these 30,000 coin silver packs and seeing who we get inside. Alright, so in the first of 10 silver packs, we receive... Outworld gear upgraded to Fusion 2. We're going to get the Bracers upgraded to Fusion 4. And the Silver card joining our roster is a Jackie Briggs that goes to Fusion 2. I do not buy her whenever I see her in the store because I think she sucks. So that's a waste of 30,000 coins. So in the second Silver Pack, we receive... Special Tech 1 out of Bronze, that's garbage. Special Tech 3 out of Silver, that's garbage. And we get an Ermac, that'll take him up to Fusion 4. And he's already my second best Silver, potentially best Silver on the roster. I actually used him to complete the fourth battle last challenge in hard difficulty. So I've used Silvers. In the third Silver pack, we were safe. Dragon Essence up to Fusion 4, 9% power generation. We get Elemental Stone's first upgrade for it. And the Silver card is a Jack Briggs, who is black. That'll take him up to Fusion 2. And I've actually used Jack Briggs in hard difficulty of Silver Fights, usually as a filler before Kenchi and Scorpion, but I'll take it. In the fourth Silver Pack, we were safe. Special Attack 3 on a Silver. We're going to get the Bracers up to Fusion 5. And the Silver card is a Johnny Cage. That one's actually pretty good. Johnny Cage is probably the third or fourth best Silver. Behind Scorpion, potentially behind Katana, and definitely behind Kenshi. So I'll take that one. Alright, so in the fifth Silver pack, we were safe. Three percent health for Jason Voorhees. I don't own him, but it's coins I don't have to spend later on. Dragon Essence number two, so that'll go up to uh, Fusion five. Ten percent power gain. Definitely like power gain with Jade. She has a lot of hits. The Silver card is a Sonya Blade, so that'll be the first promotion for her. Not that great, but we do have to level up Silver, so I'll take the promotions. And until I have like half the roster maxed out Silvers, this is how I'm spending my money. So in the 6th of 10 Silver Packs, we were safe. Three percent energy for Cassie Cage. Could be useful if I get Covert Ops Cassie Cage. More energy recharging is good. We get a Robe, that's our first one. Although we have better health options. And we have a Reptile, that'll be his first promotion. So far we have not seen a classic katana or a farmer jack brick, so you might have to only buy them in the store. It's kind of a shame. Considering the console locks were gone a long time ago. In the seventh of ten silver packs, we receive. I wish the animation on this was shorter. We get a Soul Elixir, that's our first copy of it, and I've always liked this at Fusion X because it does reduce the cost of specials, kind of like the bloody Voodoo Doll. Uh, Bloodstone Ring goes up to Fusion 2, so we've gotten a lot of gear from these packs, not that bad for 30,000 points. And the Silver card is a Devora. that's the fifth copy of her I got, so kind of underwhelming. I much prefer Ermac because he's got way better stats, but... 
A silver at level 60 is better than a silver at level 50. So in the 8th of 10 silver packs, we were safe. Special attack 3 silver, absolute garbage. A sword upgrade to fusion 5. And the silver card is a Kung Jin, so that'll actually take him up to fusion 5. So for a martial artist, he's doing okay, but he's still lagged behind Kenji. So in the ninth silver pack, we were safe. Special attack two on a gold character card. Another robe, so that's the first upgrade for that. And the silver card is a Kobol Khan. So normally I would say screw Kobol Khan, but I don't own him. So that's a card, we can level him up, that's fine. I'll take it. Now we're only missing Farmer Jack's Briggs. And I'm inclined to believe that Farmer Jack's Briggs and Classic Katana are not in these packs, but we didn't pull Kenshi. We didn't pull Scorpion, we didn't pull Sub-Zero, so... 10 packs is kinda low to base this on. So for the benefit of the doubt, we'll see. We get our third robe. The silver card is a Kano, so that'll be the first upgrade for him. So... I don't think we got any actual duplicates out of these packs. I'm sure that somebody's gonna comment down below what we actually get, but... I don't think we had more than one of each silver. So if we look at our silver roster, we pulled a Devora, we pulled an Ermac, a Jackie Briggs, Jax Briggs, Johnny Cage, Kano, Kodo Khan, Kun Jin, Reptile, and Sonya Blade. So yeah, we pulled basically one of each except Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Katana, Kenshi, no Farmer Jax Briggs, no Cassie Cage. So... Pretty widespread results, and I will be doing more 10 silver pack videos, whether you guys like it or not. I'm sure you guys are going to be curious to see what we get, so... We didn't pull a Kenshi, which kind of sucks. And as far as silver characters you want to buy in a store... It's up to your discretion if you actually want to outright buy a Reptile. If it's a difference between Fusion 9 and Fusion X... That's when you probably want to pull the trigger on Jackie Briggs. Reptile... I thought about it and I considered buying it, but then I chose against it, as did chat. But the silvers you definitely want to consider upgrading outright in the store. If your Cassie Cage is your highest promoted card, she's going to prove dividends. Do not buy Devoras. You probably want to buy Ermax, especially when the challenges don't require um, martial artists, like in Battle 2. Jackie Briggs is a hard pass. Jax Briggs, that's a light pass. I guess it depends on how strong your Jax is. Uh, Johnny Cage, I would definitely consider buying. Kano is a hard pass. Kenshi, you gotta buy him if you see him in the store. Classic Katana, you wanna buy if you see her in the store. Kono Khan, I'd say, is a hard pass. Kung Jin, I would buy in the store because of the critical chance for martial artists. He's an okay support card. Um, Reptile is a mild pass, possibly consider. Scorpion, I would definitely buy. Sonya, I would definitely buy, because her special two is really good and an offensive support for Kenshi. And Sub-Zero, I would definitely buy a copy of, but otherwise, it's at your discretion. That's how I feel about the Silvers. I don't know how you guys feel about the Silvers, but... That's how I feel. So far, we don't have Farmer Jack's Briggs, and if he shows up in the store, you definitely want to buy him and Classic Katana, because I don't think you can get them out of these packs. Prove me wrong, though. So, in our next video, we'll be opening up 10 of these gold packs. Now, if you like this video on 10 silver packs, basically pulling 10 different silvers, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat mobile videos playlist. Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show on my Instagram, which is Hollywood Show Knows God. Be sure to check out the second channel, Hollywood Show YouTube live streams, to see when I'm playing live, usually after 8 p.m., but possibly earlier on Saturday. Leave your comments down below. Let me know who you've pulled from Silver Packs from Mortal Kombat 11. If you pulled the Revenant Pack, if you pulled the Assassin Pack, 
Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!